Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to show you one of the powerful tools to attack your opponent's king. And this is a classical bishop sacrifice, also known as the Greek gift. This is one of the most powerful tool. And if you actually implement in your own game, you will win a lot of games. So let's start. White goes with 1e4. This is the shortest game you have ever seen, probably 12 moves. And after e4, black goes with e6. d4, knight to f6 to hit the pawn on e4. White goes bishop to d3 to guard this pawn here. And after knight to c6, another pawn hangs on d4. So white goes with knight to f3. Black here responds with bishop to e7. And now we have a very interesting move, h4. In these days, we are not impressed anymore with this move because this is the move that engine suggests and it's quite powerful move but this game has been played in 17th century so back in those days i think this move was just mind-blowing so here there is a trap if black castles and actually in the game that happened now as white has very strong center these pawns can start to roll and we have e5 limiting the knight from f6 and after knight to d5 there is no more protection from f6 to h7 and now when we are starting our great gift and we need a recipe for that we need a bishop we need knights and we need queen if we also have the pawn on h4 that is just fantastic so let's go now bishop h7 this is a very strong bishop sacrifice because now we have all our pieces going into the attack. Knight g5 gives a check and also opens up the road for the queen. At this point, black has several moves. Black can capture this knight that happened into the game. Black can withdraw the king back on g8. And the most challenging usually is king to g6. Let's start with king to g8. If black tries to hide on g8, now we have queen to h5. This queen gets into the game and there is a checkmate threat. So after rook to e8, to run away this king goes nowhere actually there is a check and a checkmate on the back rank so let's come back and instead of king to g8 let's check out what happens after king to g6 now as we have already pawn here on h4 we can give a check if king goes on h6 now it steps on the diagonal of the dark square bishop so now we can either take this pawn on f7 or the other pawn on e6 and very least take the queen off the board and win the game with extra queen so instead of king h6 black here can go to f5 and you basically don't want to have such a nice uh, king and active king in the middle game because there are a lot of pieces on the board and the danger and in fact there is one last piece that can give a check and actually it's a checkmate so um at this point we can just assume that after knight to g5 king cannot really move away so if king goes on h8 we have simply this check and checkmate and now let's check out what happens after bishop to g5 in this case we're taking this bishop back with the h pawn because we want to open up our rook on this uh, file and we need to get the queen into the game and now there is a checkmate straight in one move and black cannot really survive here there's no way that you can actually avoid this checkmate here in the game black tried one last chance to play f5 and now we have to be just a little bit careful not to let this king run away so this is just where we need to control and after f5 we play g6 here we just restrict the king and f7 square and there is no way that black can survive here in this position. And this is a beautiful checkmate and very sweet and short game that you can actually just copy and play in your own game. Have you ever won a game because of the Greek gift? If yes, please put down your game in the comment section. I will take a look at that and maybe I'll record a new video based on your own game. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Like and subscribe to my channel for more such content.